very simple homemade wind turbines. This is a very simple uh, wind turbine made with a bicycle wheel and a pole. Uh, you can use PVC pole, I use bamboo poles. Uh, zip ties, drill some holes, uh, use some conduit here. It's four inch conduit, it's a thin wall but it's a rigid conduit so it's excellent for uh, blades. And this, uh, as the bottom view, you can see I just welded a piece of pipe onto the nut that holds the wide bicycle axle. This makes, provides a very good, strong support. These are very light, uh, so they're, they don't need a great deal of support. And a uh, piece of metal could be placed in between the, like a flat piece of metal could be placed in between the bolt there on the nut and uh, could mount copper coils and then put magnets on the wheel and it could generate electricity. Uh, they spin pretty slow normally, but they're, they, they start up at a low wind speed. But the nice thing is that even at higher wind speeds, they maintain a fairly low wind speed because the outer uh, part of the fan has a big buffet on, on the part facing the oncoming wind kind of actually slows it down. And I put some ping pong or some, some golf balls on there to uh, see if I could uh, preserve some of the inertia. It's just an experiment there. I don't know if it works or not. Here I reversed the blades and actually on the smaller one it spun quite a bit faster so you can see by by removing that large uh, wind block on the outer part of the fan it will spin faster. So this would probably be a better way to utilize that fan blade design. This is a Savonius type windmill or wind turbine and it uses this one is uses a big 50 gallon drum. And a, a neighbor gave me one of these big drums. And I was going to make one like this, and I started to, uh, I made some little pieces and, and tried to see what, if there was a better way to make this. And I came up with a, a way of cutting the drum up into four sections instead of two, as you can see here. And uh, this actually was a much more exciting uh, configuration because I had four pockets to catch the air instead of two. And not only that, but when it was put together, the uh, back side of, well here is the, the bolts I used, the center is supported by a piece of three quarter inch pipe and I welded bolts in each end so I could kind of hold it all together. But as you can see, the back of one acts like a funnel and pushes more air into the incoming open chamber, so it's, it's very efficient. Here's a, at the top I just made an adjustable support so I could adjust it any way I wanted and there's a motorcycle wheel bearing inside the collar there that allows it to spin. At the bottom there's a permanent magnet a DC motor which also can generate electricity but this particular design only it puts out very low voltage. As you can see here it's, it's very smooth, it's totally quiet which was nice. You know people say these windmills, wind turbines make noise but this makes no noise. You can't tell when it's running. Uh, this one's on the roof next to my solar batch style water heater. Uh, that's also very very nice, sufficient device. It saves me about $100 a month on electric electric bill. This wind turbine was uh, very inexpensive to make and is made almost entirely from discarded components. The barrel, of course, was given to me, but you can pick those up pretty cheaply. Uh, the base was made from an old generator. The generator engine was removed and that's the casing. The wood, the bearings, uh, you know, I spent about fifteen or twenty dollars on a permanent magnet motor, and I bought some bolts for it, and a little bit of welding, and just a lot of scrap pieces. And this uh, seems to be pretty powerful; has a lot of potential, pretty durable. And I, I really appreciate the way it was so quiet; can't even hear the thing when it's spinning. So that's a pretty important factor. I guess some people complain about the noise of these these things make. So I would recommend this design. Uh, it's not real difficult to make. It's a little time consuming, but even then it wasn't like it spent a great deal of time.